SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, or crib death, is the unexplained death of a baby less than one year of age, a heartbreaking tragedy with its cause still unknown. SIDS is a type of sudden unexpected infant death, or SUID. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, there are approximately 4,000 sudden infant deaths a year in the United States. About half of these are diagnosed as SIDS, or unexplained. The other half are diagnosed by other causes. Although the cause of death in many of these children can't be explained, most occur while the infant is sleeping in unsafe sleeping environments. Although very few of these deaths happen in childcare, you can help reduce the risk of SIDS by taking a few simple steps. The first is to always place babies on their back to sleep. Back to sleep is required when you put a baby down for a nap or to bed for the night. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommended this practice in 1992, and since that time, occurrences have decreased by more than 50%. Back to sleep is the single most important component in reducing the risk of SIDS. But there are more things you can do to reduce the risk further. Use only a firm, flat mattress in safety-approved cribs for baby's sleep. Soft objects, such as pillows, quilts, comforters, sheepskins, stuffed toys, and other objects should be kept out of a baby's sleeping environment. Any loose bedding, such as fluffy blankets and sheets, may also pose a hazard. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends the use of sleepers, sleep sacks, and wearable blankets until the child is 12 months of age as a safe alternative to blankets. Older sleepers can wear footed pajamas or other one-piece sleepers, so no other covering is necessary. The feet-to-foot method of placing an infant at the bottom of the crib with a blanket tucked in and around them is no longer recommended. A crib that conforms to the safety standards of the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission and the ASTM is a desirable sleeping environment for babies. Crib slats must be secure and equal to or less than 2 and 3 eighths inches apart. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission has issued advisories to caregivers on the hazards of beanbag cushions, waterbeds, and adult pillows. Babies lack the coordination skills and muscle development necessary to roll over or move their heads readily and get themselves out of a dangerous position. In addition, the filling in beanbag chairs presents a significant choking hazard for children of all ages. Babies should be kept warm and out of drafts, but they should not be allowed to get too warm. Their neurological systems haven't developed enough to provide adequate warning of overheating. You need to maintain a comfortable temperature in the rooms used for childcare. Provide a smoke-free environment for all children in your care. Don't allow smoking in areas used by babies or small children. Research indicates that the risk of SIDS doubles among babies exposed to cigarette smoke after birth. A more alarming fact is that the risk of SIDS triples for babies exposed both during pregnancy and after birth. Research also indicates that babies and young children exposed to tobacco smoke develop more colds and other diseases than babies and young children not exposed. See, that's a mommy's baby, like you. When planning for the health and safety of the children in your program, remember that no smoking is good for everyone. Researchers have concluded that SIDS is not contagious. It's not caused by vomiting or spitting up, or by choking or minor illnesses such as a cold or an infection. More boys than girls are victims, and most deaths occur during the fall, winter, and early spring months. Tell parents about your program's policies regarding sleeping habits and why they're so important for their babies. Remind them that back to sleep is the number one way to reduce the risk of SIDS. Safe sleep practices are as easy as ABC. Infants sleep best alone on their backs in a crib. <laughs>